Pioneers of Aviation with Wallace Hamptons. Flight. Since the dawn of time, man has dreamed of it. And in 1903, brothers Orville and Wilbur Wright made it so. Of course, before the Wright brothers' historic success, there were many failed attempts to take to the skies. A race to fly had swept the nation. <laughs> Did that one guy fly? Play that back, R rewind that. Holy shit, that guy's flying. Look at him go. Ridiculous. Not really, look, play it again, but turn those sound effects off. Then it won't be funny. I don't want it to be funny, Angelo. Ah, this is amazing. Too bad it's such a short clip. Well, there's more to it. I cut it down. The original footage is right here. Man, I would give anything to hear what he said just there. Well, let me turn the audio back on. I'm flying! It's actually very easy! Oh, my shoe! My God! This guy flew before the Wright brothers, Angelo. For three years, I've thought of nothing but the pioneers of aviation. But I never really understood. I gotta rethink the whole show. The Pioneer of Aviation. With me, Wallace Hamptons. Flight. The first guy to do it was in a weird umbrella-looking machine. Proof is easily found in this lost film footage that we can all watch now for the first time without a bunch of boings and sproings all over it. Take a look. His name was Pip Denny, and the recent discovery of his achievement has sent shockwaves through the aviation world. Oh, my shoe! I sat down with the Wright brothers' great-grandsons to hear their take on the Pip Denny film. Pip Denny? <laughs> no, 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 I heard of him. That little weenie didn't pioneer shit. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Look, look, our great granddads did the first flight, and that's that. Oh, but we have film. No, no, that is that. We have footage that clearly shows Pip flying. Oh, do you? <laughs> oh, very good, I'm very proud of you. Congratulations. And it was in 1902, a full year before your great grandfather's. You know what, look kid, I seem to remember a little something about a certain shoe falling off. Am I mistaken? No, 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 that does seem to ring a particular bell. But it seems like one would have a difficult time revolutionizing air travel with everyone's shoes falling off all over the place. Does it not? It seems like it to me. Yes, it does. Now look, you know what? This interview is over, okay? Okay, get that on my face. I had a feeling Pip Denny's great-grandsons might have a different take on the matter. Listen to this. What if I told you that I have found footage of your great-grandfather flying? Yeah, we've seen it. Yeah. You've seen it? <laughs> it was funny with the boing and sproing sounds. <laughs> All right, fellas. Let's not worry about the sound effects, okay? Let's think about the flying. He flew. Yeah, but his shoe fell off. Yeah, his shoe fell off. Don't worry about his shoe. Think about his legacy, okay? He has a legacy and you guys should be rich, right? <laughs> we like the funny sound effects. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this interview's over. <laughs> I finally tracked down the man himself, still alive at 131 years old. Surely he would be upset about having his place in history stolen. Yeah, it hurts maybe that I flew first. But if I made even one person laugh with the funny boing sound, then that's just as important. As important as inventing flight! Uh, you wanna know what I think? I think that those Wright brothers invented the sound effects, the boings and sproings, to discredit the aviators that they were competing with. And you know what? I think that these editors, Angelo Ciccone over here, this guy, I think that he is just a little too eager to play along, don't you think? 
Bottom line, I think we can all agree that history is very difficult to document. <laughs>